Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. I'm here at Ellington Field with the Cessna Citation Longitude and as you can tell it has a really fancy delightful livery. This is the SpaceX Longitude livery by Sly Robocop and I'll link it in the video description. Uh, this is my first time trying it out and it looks pretty good and I intend to fly to Boca Chica from Ellington Field and take a look at another mod and it, uh, it is also a freeware mod. It is the SpaceX Boca Chica launch site mod by Tan the Man. Now, uh, this plane is a little bit fast to be sightseeing at Boca Chica, but I couldn't resist using this livery for this purpose. So we'll just run with it. This was a candidate for a round the world flight, uh, but initially, early on, it's its fuel consumption was wrong. So I'm interested to see whether the fuel consumption has been fixed or not. Sorry, it's easier to uh, control the rudder from inside the cockpit rather than outside like this. Oh, so I still would like rudder pedals. So we'll fly over Johnson Space Center first. There was a point of interest for Johnson Space Center now, so I'm wondering what that looks like. Oh, uh, there's a building there. I guess that's part of it. I don't know if that's the fanciest thing, but I think it's better than it was initially in the game. I remember it not being particularly good. It is just a sort of a campus, so... Not the most distinctive thing. But yeah, that's Johnson Space Center for you. There we go, nice climb at just under 250 knots. I already broke the 250 knot rule, of course, but... Now we're saying under 250 knots. There is a longitude improvement mod, but I decided to try and fly it to see whether that would be necessary or not. There we go, the SpaceX longitude over Texas. Still climbing. Well, I'm trying to select the airspeed for the autopilot and that is not working. Maybe I need to turn something else on. Well, wow, that's inoperable. <laughs> well, let's see if everything else works. I can do the throttle myself if necessary. Wow, ground speed is horrible. We're really fighting against the wind here. 357 when the true airspeed is 441. That's a rough gap. Interesting, the overspeed area here is different from out here. Here it's at 325. Inside here it's at 295. That's a pretty big difference, or even less than 295. I wonder why the overspeed would be different here than here. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? I don't know if flight director can come on. I click on the flight director button and it doesn't do anything. So, okay. Well, I think I might need those improvements from that mod. Okay, we are descending into Boca Chica. Let's see what the situation is as far as the weather. You can see the clouds out there. It's, uh, well, there's a lot of clouds. But should be able to see stuff at the coast. All right, well, somewhere over there is, uh, Boca Chica and the launch center. We're descending pretty casually here. So I had uh, flown by Boca Chica in the game without any mods and there was nothing there. So a mod is necessary to have anything at the launch site, that's for sure. We'll see what we've got. The mod was updated on February 4th, so it is marked as SN10. 
I don't know if the modder intends to keep it updated every time the situation at Boca Chica changes. There's Tan the Man is the modder for this. There are two libraries that I do not have installed that uh, are recommended and I'll try it with those libraries later. Uh, one is a people library, so it's for 3D people, Dave's 3D people library. And then there is a crooked library that has some additional tanks. The crooked library, uh, it looks like worn out stuff, so I don't know if I necessarily want that in what will be... You know, I mean, the facility should be a little bit spiffier than that. I'm taking a look at the photos of the elements in that library, and they're sort of worn out. Okay, well, let's see what we might, may or may not have from this height, and then we'll continue, we'll circle down. Fuel consumption seemed fine, so that's good. Uh, something right here. Hmm. I don't think it's rendered. Well, uh, th there might be that might be a starship right there. That right there. Not a whole lot going on, but we'll continue downward. I guess we don't strictly speaking need the map anymore. We can see where we are. I mean, compared to the heights that we fly, Starship isn't going to be that, that tall. I think I see it sticking up there. Okay. Yep, there's a Starship, alright. And Starhopper. It's all rendering in now. I'll see how slow I can make this. We'll fly a little bit closer. Okay. Let's get really up close and personal as much as we can. Alright, well, there you have it. That is the SpaceX Boca Chica launch site. And again, that's by Tan the Man. I guess... I mean, that is definitely what I was looking for. And again, fairly lightweight mod. It was just a 3 megabyte download, so... It's worthwhile just to put it in, frankly. Just so you're not missing it. Heck, the delivery here, the SpaceX delivery for the longitude is more than 100 meg. <laughs> so, yep. Yep, definitely a worthy scenery addition. Anyway, so I'll just wrap it up with that. A fairly simple premise to this one. And I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.